good morning. It's cold, but it's not as cold as it's gonna get. Look at that. 57 degrees inside, 49 degrees outside. Man, wouldn't it have been nice to come home to this like in the summertime when it was like 98 degrees outside? <laughs> that would have been so nice. Anyway, we're gonna grab the Buffy and we're gonna go to the parts store. She's like, yay, go for a ride. Doesn't it look naked now? My yard looks naked. <laughs> it's been stripped of the Halloween. It's naked. Um, oh, and here's something to think about too, guys. Isn't it funny how when we go and get the mail, it's like today's mail, but if you think about it, it's really yesterday's mail just delivered late because they had all this stuff like processed and, and waiting to go out on the trucks. And yeah, I digress. Ooh, no bills. Happy day. So it looks like I'm gonna be uh, kind of sticking around home here today, guys. Wasn't the last time I filmed, didn't I like walk outside? I can't remember, it was kind of weird, kind of like deja vu moment right here. Um, ow. So I'm going to uh, take care of some scrap metal, get some stuff taken care of there, clean up some of this garbage, garbage, <laughs> cords and stuff like that. Um, I gotta empty the tiki torches, and yeah, just some basic cleanup. And this is the stuff I'm gonna to have to be working in. Ooh, it's gonna be a long winter. <laughs> oh, my cookies are done, again. Oh, I think it, that's not a text. I think it, yeah, it's not a text. I think it's a Facebook message. I think that's what that ding is. Go figure. Quickly, quickly I'm looking for something else to vlog. So I pull the power real quick so I don't get a copyright strike because that's bad. I'm done scrapping. I'm, I'm done organizing all the scrap. I've got stuff taken care of over here pretty much. Got cords wrapped up and, and I had to dump that last fog machine because it ended up like just totally not working and it's one of those $25 fog machines so I'm really not too concerned about it. It's lasted me like, gosh, I don't know, like at least five years. So I certainly got my use out of it. And what else? Still got the Halloween tree up and it's still kind of light outside. And I don't know what else I'm gonna do for the rest of the day, but I do have a scare video to edit too, so I might do that. I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing. I never know what I'm doing for, oh. I might go out to another appointment tonight, I don't know. It depends if they call back. That's what I hate, I hate uncertainty. I hate not knowing. Not knowing is like the greatest stress. And I need to clean the moss off my roof. I just noticed that. You can't see it because of the light, the contrast, I don't think, but it's right here. It's right there. It's all mossy and it needs to be clean. And it's wet right now. Cleaning moss when it's wet is like easy. Cleaning moss when it's dry, not so easy. You wanna go to the store? Do you wanna go to the store? Do you? No, you don't. Yes, we are going to go to the store because we have to get some propane and some propane accessories, okay? Um, and the reason why is because it's supposed to be stormy next couple days, kind of stormy, and that was loud. Go ahead, put it on. Anyway, it's gonna be stormy, so I wanna get some propane so that we have heat and light. Come on, put it on. You're a smart dog. You're smart enough to know not to follow the laser and who's in charge of the laser. Put it on. You hear that? It's beginning. Wait, it's began. <laughs> it has begun! Ugh, it's dark again. How dare it be dark again? Dang, it's a dark and spooky night. <laughs> it's windy, and it's going to be rainy, and the trees are blowing in the wind. And the dog is getting wrapped around the pole that you guys can't see because it's dark outside. Anyway, guys, we're headed out to Walmart real quick. Gosh, real quick. Everything with me has to be real quick. I don't know why I say that. Do you guys have words that you say, like, all the time? And maybe you don't realize it because you don't, like, watch yourself back on video all the time. But I have words that, obviously, that and awesome that I say, like, all the freaking time. Vlog camera GoPro. Vlog camera GoPro. We're going to GoPro. And once I step outside you guys are going to be able to see how windy it is and you're going to be able to hear it all right so you stay there don't go anywhere okay <laughs> like she has a choice all right got my keys got my stuff 
Let's go get some propane. I think I know what Phoenix wants for Christmas. Whoa. Oh my gosh, that was badass. That was incredible. How does it go down the other one though? There's another one on there. Oh, that is so sweet. I know what Phoenix wants for Christmas now. This little thing would be cool for the bedroom. I wonder if that would cut my power bill down. These are awesome. Purely ingenious. Whoa, that is so cool. Propane. Phoenix would love this stuff too. Minions. I don't see any Ghostbusters stuff though. No Ghostbusters. Boo. They got Scooby-Doo. Back outside and now it's raining. I missed the rain. No, I didn't beat the rain. The rain beat me. Where's the Buffy? There's the Buffy. Huh, do you want to see what I got? I got something for you. This is a lint roller. This is to get up all your hair. Or maybe some massaging tool. Do you like that? Here, you do it. You do it. Oh, that's right. You don't have opposable thumbs. You can't hold anything. See, if we didn't have opposable thumbs, imagine not having a thumb. I guess we could still grip things. Never mind. She's like, I'm so not impressed. Like, whatever you've got there is like, doesn't impress me much. Oh man, you guys got dirty too. I bet you that's a buffy nose print. Okay, let's get home. That was two minutes and 43 seconds of nothing. Sorry. Ladies and ghouls, it is time for the do dog's paw to paw my face. Ow, we gotta trim your nails. Ow, damn it. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Stop the insanity. It's time for cock. The BDL Express. Still watch Z Nation? You know, I really should. Because I've got friends, or I've got a friend that does the, the makeup for him, but, and, and you guys probably know her, Claire of Dark Soldier Design, um, but no, I don't. Gosh, that was a long answer. It took a long time to answer that. Okay, we gotta make this quicker. Awesome information from Jake Prando. Dogs have movable ear flaps that help them locate the source of a sound, but they also have brains that can compute time difference between the sound reaching each ear. A slight change in the dog's head position supplies additional information that the canine can use to judge a sound's distance. Wow, that blew my mind. Oh, and by the way, everybody that like text or message me today or in the comments, the Energized and, and a couple of others, um, I have a question for you. <laughs> thank you. It put a smile on my face. It really did. <laughs> so I thank you for that. Just don't do it again. I'm kidding. Well, don't do it again seriously. There we go. You can joke. <laughs> Never mind. See, I just dig myself so many holes. Matthew Rondell. Holy crap. There are a lot of comments, bro. Um, so I'll pick this one. My question, have you ever had an unexpected item in your shopping? And you say trolley, so I'll, I'll imagine that's probably cart. But you say trolley. That's kind of cool. Uh, when you are at the checkout. Not that I can remember. I'm sure there have been, there has been, but I don't remember. Short term memory. Crystal Sherman, by the way, asking the question, can I ask a question is unnecessary. Just ask your question. 
That's even better. That's great advice. That would be great. Um, so, by the way, I have a question for you. Just kidding. <laughs> oh, see, people mess with me. I've got to mess you with you guys right back. Triff27, I like your idea about the, um, like the good customer discount when they call ahead, uh, give prompt payments, show up on time, but if they're bad, then, uh, they pay more. <laughs> That's great. Merlin SK, I'm going to read the whole comment just so that Shay can hear it if she missed it. Uh, Troy, the master of the left-handed gear shifting whilst driving, talking, and filming. And I can pat my head and rub my belly at the same time and switch directions. I seriously can. Uh, too funny and all the best to you, Phoenix and Buffy. And Shay, if you read this, always thinking of you and wishing you well. You are definitely a sporty uh, faucet of this channel. Yes, she's been... She's been here for a, a while, guys, and she's like, she's one of the, the one of the, I was going to say concrete hellions, but that just sounds weird. Um, anchor? She's one of the anchor hellions? Uh, I don't know. I, uh, I don't know. Um, Adam S., what is your favorite Luke Bryan song, and how do you decorate your house for Christmas? Do you go crazy like you do for Halloween? Uh, well, there's vlogs from like five years ago that you can go and check and see what I've done for the last five years. Um, as far as, I don't know what I'm doing for this Christmas. Um, favorite Luke Bryan song? Um, probably Rain is a good thing. Or Country Girl, Shake It For Me. That's a good song. There's a lot of them. I like a lot of the songs. Wolfsbane, Spain, Hollow. I love this idea also. Another possible path for the haunt to slide into Egyptian tombs might be for one of Charlotte's parents to have visited Egypt and brought back a trinket from a dig there perhaps the gypsy you mentioned could explain a curse for disturb for disturbing said trinket which would send the victims to the tomb entry could still happen through the basement wall that might even be where the trinket had been hidden and where Otto's crew dug it up I love that and you've read the backstory 500 hell points and another 500 for for the awesome artifacts that you gave me thousand hell points do you guys see how easy it is it's so easy to get hell points Ramthal, man, your front yard looks a heck of a lot better than mine at the moment, bro. Well, yeah, yours has Halloween stuff, and I had like five items in the front yard. Yours is better. Liz M, you can tell that you've been talking video chatting with to Trucker Josh more lately because your facial expressions are starting to mimic his more. Um, actually, I've always had facial expressions. I Recently, I've been like, like, I don't want to say fixating on him, but like, Letting them hang a little bit, getting a little bit more into it, a little bit more to try and make things a little bit more interesting since it's not really Halloween here right now. So, yeah, but I'm, I'm not trying to copy anybody. All right, guys, happy haunting. See you tomorrow. Um, don't forget, if you can help me out and uh, check the links uh, down below, uh, Patreon, we're going to be, uh, and I know I said this like a week ago, no, four days ago, something like that. Uh, we are going to be drawing the winner uh, shortly from last month's patrons um, if you guys want to get in on it it would sincerely help the channel and help me out um, all you gotta do is donate a dollar just a dollar will get you into the contest and if we hit the hundred dollar mark then we're gonna have an awesome giveaway prize not just Hellmouth merchandise so with that being said go check it out down below one dollar a month one dollar one dollar that's all it's one all right Happy haunting. See you guys tomorrow. I'm going to go and sleep away some stress. Um, but while you're awake, you know, were you all well? Nah. Um, but while you're awake...